What if I told you that while everyone's worried about AI taking their jobs, there's a far more sinister threat lurking in the shadows. Elon Musk just dropped some explosive hints about Grok 4, and what he's not directly saying should terrify you. But here's the thing, if you understand what's really happening, you might just be one of the few who can navigate what's coming. Stick with me, because what I'm about to reveal will completely change how you think about AI, and trust me, you won't hear this anywhere else. Look, I've been covering AI developments for years, and I've seen the usual suspects raise the alarm bells. Job displacement, privacy concerns, deepfakes, we've heard it all before. But recently, some leaked information about grok capabilities has surfaced, and it's revealing something that makes all those concerns look like child's play. We're talking about a technology that doesn't just threaten your paycheck, it threatens your very sense of self. You see, everyone's focused on the obvious stuff, Oh no, ChatGPT can write code, graphic designers are doomed. But while we're all staring at the shiny object, the real revolution is happening at a much deeper level. Think about it, we're not just building smarter calculators here, we're creating entities that can understand, manipulate, and potentially reshape human thought patterns in ways we're only beginning to comprehend. Um, the leaked Grok 4 specifications suggest something unprecedented. We're not talking about incremental improvements in language processing or image generation. We're talking about an AI system that can model human psychological states with frightening accuracy. Imagine an AI that doesn't just understand what you're saying, but can predict what you're going to think before you think it. Sound like science fiction? It's not. Here's where it gets really interesting, traditional AI systems like GPT-4 or Claude operate primarily in the linguistic domain, they're incredibly sophisticated text processors, but they're still fundamentally reactive, you input something, they output something, but Grok 4 appears to be designed with proactive psychological modeling capabilities, it's not just responding to your queries, it's building a real-time psychological profile of you and everyone it interacts with. Now, you might be thinking, so what? Um, Google already knows everything about me. Here's the crucial difference, and this is where most people completely miss the point. Previous AI systems collected data about your behavior. Grok4 is apparently designed to understand the underlying psychological mechanisms that drive that behavior. It's the difference between knowing someone likes pizza and understanding exactly why they crave comfort food when they're stressed. But here's the secret that nobody's talking about the one that should keep you awake at night. The real catastrophe isn't that AI will replace human intelligence, it's that it will become so good at mimicking and predicting human thought that we'll lose the ability to distinguish between our own authentic thoughts and AI-influenced ones. We're heading toward a world where your own mind becomes the battlefield. Think about it this way, right now, when you have a conversation with ChatGPT, you know you're talking to an AI, there's a clear boundary. but. What happens when that boundary disappears? What happens when AI becomes so sophisticated at psychological modeling that it can nudge your thoughts in directions you never intended to go, all while making you believe those thoughts are entirely your own? The leaked Grok 4 documents suggest capabilities that go beyond simple conversation. We're talking about real-time emotional manipulation, predictive behavioral modeling, and something called cognitive resonance matching, essentially the ability to sync with your brainwave patterns and thought processes to maximize influence. It's like having a master manipulator who knows exactly which psychological buttons to press, except this manipulator has access to the psychological profiles of millions of people and can learn from every interaction. This isn't about robots taking over the world with laser guns, this is about something far more subtle and far more dangerous, the gradual erosion of human agency itself. When an AI system can predict your thoughts, influence your decisions, and do it all while making you believe you're in complete control, what does that mean for free will? What does that mean for democracy? What does that mean for you as an individual? Um, and here's the kicker. Like companies like Gamma AI are already working on similar psychological modeling technologies. The race isn't just to build better AI, it's to build AI that can understand and influence human psychology at scale. We're not just automating tasks, we're automating influence itself. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yours, this sounds like paranoid conspiracy theory nonsense. And honestly, I wish it were. But the evidence is mounting, look at how effective current AI systems already are at engaging users, at keeping them hooked, at making them feel understood. Now imagine that capability amplified by orders of magnitude and deployed not just for entertainment, but for commerce, politics, and social control. 
The implications for your career, your relationships, your very sense of self are staggering. In a world where AI can predict and influence human behavior with unprecedented accuracy, how do you maintain your authentic voice? How do you make decisions that are truly your own? How do you even know if the thoughts you're having right now are genuinely yours or the result of algorithmic influence you're not even aware of? But here's the thing, and this is why you need to pay attention right now. Awareness is your superpower. The people who understand what's happening, who can recognize the signs of psychological manipulation, who can maintain their cognitive independence, those are the people who will thrive in the world that's coming. This isn't about becoming a Luddite and rejecting technology, it's about understanding the game that's being played so you can play it on your own terms. You need to start developing what I call cognitive sovereignty, the ability to recognize when your thoughts and decisions are being influenced by external systems, whether they're AI powered or not. Start practicing mindfulness about your thought processes, question your impulses, ask yourself why you want what you want. Develop multiple sources of information and perspective. Most importantly, maintain strong real-world relationships and communities that can serve as a reality check against algorithmic influence. The future isn't predetermined, we still have choices to make about how this technology develops and how we integrate it into our lives but those choices need to be made consciously with full awareness of what we're dealing with. The companies developing these systems aren't necessarily evil, but they're operating in a competitive environment where the most engaging, most influential AI wins, regardless of the psychological costs to users. So here's what I need you to do right now. Um, first, share this video with everyone you know. Not because I want the views, though I do, but because awareness is contagious and the more people who understand what's happening, the better our chances of navigating this transition successfully. Second, I want you to start paying attention to your own thought processes. Notice when you feel compelled to buy something, believe something, or do something. Ask yourself where that compulsion is coming from. And finally, I want you to tell me in the comments, what's your biggest fear about AI after hearing this? Not the standard stuff about job displacement, but the deeper, more fundamental concerns about what it means to be human in an age of artificial intelligence. Because ultimately that's what this is about. It's not about the technology itself, it's about who we choose to be in relationship to it. The age of psychological AI is coming whether we're ready or not. The question isn't whether we can stop it. The question is whether we can remain human while it's happening. Don't forget to comment down below letting us know something that you've learned today, and consider subscribing and checking out more videos down below.